Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. I went for a glorious walk in the mountains today and uh, the light was just pouring in, inundating the earth. And we still have uh, 10 days to go. You know, if you can get out into nature, either in the mountains or by the sea, or by the ocean, or by the desert areas, it's a really good thing to do that from now on until the at least the 22nd of June. Uh, so, but I should warn you that in addition to us light workers hanging out in all these wonderful places, there are also people who are very different from us but have light in a different way who are hanging out there right now who know what's up as well as we. And so, I ran into a person near the trailhead who has the largest energy field I've ever run into in a person who is also after something, a power over a person with a huge uh, uh, energy field of light. He had uh, energy, the eggshell of his energy went out from the center of his body 12 feet in each direction. I had to walk a circle around him to get past. And uh, he, and the trouble is that that light is very, very bright, you know, very, very perfect in its own way, but it has to do with wanting something from other people. And so there's a, there's a hitch, you know, there's a, there's a twist, there's a, there's a gimme. And so a person has to be very, very careful in the presence of these people. So all day long today, as I walked through the mountains, I tried warding through the power of song. And I advise this to all of you, if you're able to sing any of the beautiful songs that I've put online, or if you know any high spiritual songs of light, try singing those if there's trouble. You'll find that your your voice is very, very different. For instance, one one big heart one great heart that song or you could sing the long time sunshine song that's a good one and many others and if those don't don't avail you or suit you try going to my website awakening with planet earth https colon slash slash awakening with planet earth dot com and find some spells of warding w-a-r-d-i-n-g that will ward off power over energy as you as you go through this incredible process of summer solstice for the solar maximum of, of the year 2024 okay so this is a caveat you know there won't be just you out in waste places there will also be tests of your ability to to transform the dark to the light and and to uh, ward off power over energy no matter how enticing no matter how incredibly handsome it may look okay be very careful especially those of you that are small of stature or older or very young or those of you that are women the men may have much easier time of it okay and watch out for the ravens right now the ravens are looped out by the light uh, and the and the hawks are looped out by the light as well as the human beings that are light workers and the power over human beings. Today I was near the top of the first ascent on the trail where I had planned to walk and one of the hawks with tipid wings saw me and it was making a wide circle around a valley in the mountains and it, then it started circling closer to me and then it started tighter and tighter circles immediately over my head but high up you know and I got the message I don't want to be the target I don't want to be the hawk target <laughs> and so I started walking quickly away so watch out for raptors in particular and for a certain loopy quality that sometimes takes place in the Raven Peace Corps volunteers uh, that you will find all over uh, all over the mountains, much like we find Neighborhood Watch and Next Door in our communities in Los Angeles. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days in love, light, and joy. This is Alice B. Claggett. I am of the stars and so are you. Remember, 
no fear. You can, you can optimize your timelines, you can optimize your dimensions, that there be no fear, but only the greatest joy in the incoming light. I know you can do it. I'm certain of that. I have great confidence in each of you.